good evening from a rainy evening here at my place. Um, I'm just showing here quickly how to install the domain controller, how to promote a Windows Server 2012 machine to a domain controller. I battled a bit, studied it and all that, but I uh, keep forgetting. Especially there's one thing you have to do which I'll show you now. Basically I've already set the computer name to DC started up my virtual machine as you can see it will open your server manager click on dashboard then click on add roles and features just click next here role based or feature based installation that's the one we want next choose the machine we want to promote to domain controller click next then we want active directory domain services Yes, we want to add those features. You click on Add Features here. Click on Next. All that's looking good. Click on Next. I'm just keeping the defaults. Click Next and Install. This is the easy bit. I'm going to wait for it to install. When I come back, I'll show you after the installation what the second bit is that you need to do to make sure your server is a domain controller. Okay, feature installation is done. So you can click on close here. So the DC is basically installed. Um, I battled a bit with this before I read up on the net and my books before the exams. I couldn't figure out why my DC is not working as a DC. So we, I'm used to DC promo in Windows 2003-2008. They've changed it a slight bit here in 2010. So you go here, click on these notifications, and you'll see there it is. Promote the server to a domain controller. So we've installed the features, but it's still not a domain controller. We still need to come here, click on this, to make sure we promote it to a domain controller. I want to, it's a new forest, so I'm going to click on new forest and call it test.local. Click on next. There we go, I'm just going to make my forest functional level to 2008R2. Password for your disaster recovery restore mode, same as your previous one you typed in there. Okay, it's happy with all that. Click on next. Remember that password, obviously, when you're installing that for a live environment, you'd like to document that if you run into troubles, you have to restore the Active Directory. Click on X there once my advice name, so let's check if it finds it. Happy with it, click on next. This should now prompt us to install DNS. This I'm just gonna keep all these defaults so my lab. So my selections, yes, we want to install a DNS server. Obviously, you'd want your IP to be static, all the basic stuff for a domain controller. Click on next. Now it's checking the prerequisites. I have to be honest, um, I prefer the DC promo way of doing things, but this is pretty straightforward. All prerequisite checks pass successfully, that's always good to see. Click on install. And that's it. After this, I'll reboot. Got my Active Directory installed. And then I can start installing my Exchange server for a test I'm doing tonight. Thanks for watching. Cheers.